it's your boy Card Perfect. Today we're going to be looking at the SNL playing cards from Theory 11. If you guys want to check out this review and my other great amazing content, make sure to subscribe, ring the bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get into this video right now. So these are the SNL playing cards from Theory 11. The front of the tuck box is, has this nice circle around it with SNL right here in the center and it says Saturday Night Live playing cards across the top. On the outside of the circle it is two way. Um, it says Studio 8H across the top with the NBC logo there. Then it has spades, diamonds, clubs, and hearts in those corners with these nice, glo nice glistening metallic blue lines going outward from the circle. Um, this, this side over here just says SNL with the four pips right here and two stars on top and bottom. Same for the other side, nothing different there. And the back design of the box is the same for the playing cards, and I'll get to that in a second. Then the bottom just has some Theory 11 ad copy, just standard, just like usual. And then the top, it still has the same four pips with the same two stars. The inside says Live from New York. Nothing on the inside tuck flaps, but before I actually get to the cards, the inside of the tuck box is also completely done really, really well with these nice circles and SNL lettering. It's really, really beautiful. But that's all I can say for the box, so let's actually get into these playing cards. So, the back design, I'll just grab one of these. Looks like this. So it has this on the air Studio 8H right here up at the top. And then it says Saturday Night Live SNL right here in the middle with this nice circle cut in half to show right where the center line is on these cards. Um, it really looks like more of a building you can like walk up into for SNL. It says New York. It says, well, NY on both sides. On the outside of the three doors in the middle has these nice little lamp posts. This is SNL and TXI in the corners. Then, of course, has NBC, which is the, sh the television station that they do it on. So, that is really all for the back design. Now, for fanning and for spreading the cards and things, it's not my favorite back design. It's not exactly meant for cardistry. Um, I'm not exactly a giant cardist myself. But, for the back design for magicians, it does work really well because it's not something that pops out really crazy. So for magicians, it does work pretty well. Now for the actual playing cards themselves, we have the two and all these other hearts. Um, I'm just going through the numbers first. And their ba the standard placements, they have become a little bit more of a pinkish color. Um, and the pips are slightly changed to make them a little bit more rounded and small. But really, that's really it for all of these different suits. The blacks are still black, and placement is still the same, just like the hearts, slightly changed pips, same for diamonds, and for spades. Somehow, I just flipped those two over when I did that spring. Alright, so that's it for that. Um, and they do look really nice when you fan them this direction, too. And this actually, th I think, looks better when you fa fan them this way than actually with the back design. That's just me. Now each of these cards are completely standard and not completely custom, not standard. And like they each have, so like this one has like a bartender and each one has something here so this says what's happening. This one actually is a one-way back design. There's only a few of these. because You have a girl on the air sneezing and then you have a girl on the air who's smiling. Um, and this one says the hottest club is dot 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 and you just have each of these that are completely different and have this little thing on the side. Now this one is nice because it does pay homage to the Suicide King, King with a Headache from Bicycle. Always love it when they still do that even when it's completely custom. Um, this one you just have like this ranger guy. You have right here this like crazy lady with a clock. You have a Disco Man. Then for the Jack of Diamonds, you have another one way back. So this one is a guy 
with a radio and a water bottle, but then when you flip it over, it's a girl with a like a like a horn from like cheerleading and a volleyball. Then you have another lunatic lady. You have a strong man for the king of diamonds. Then for the spades, we have a man opening up a present with a glass. This is another one way. This is a lady on the air, really kind of creepy. And then the other side, we have another lady on the air, but instead of it being like earth, it's a bunch of st bunch of numbers and stocks. And this time she's blonde. And then for me, this one's my favorite because it is a drummer, and I am a drummer also. So this one's really fun for me. Cause you got the drumstick and the crash cymbal, cowbell. This one's really fun. That's all there is for those. Now for the ace of hearts, just regular ace of spades and ace of clubs and ace of diamonds. And I'm going to wait to get to the ace of spades until I've done the duplicate jokers. Just a circle around the moon that says SNL inside of it, Saturday Night Live. Uh, please stand by across the top with their NBC logo, then spades, diamonds, hearts, and clubs right here. Then off to the side we have another Theory 11 ad card. Now usually these Theory 11 ad cards have Theory 11 on this side and then something else or just a regular back on this side. This one is actually a double backer. Now this isn't usually a double backer you would want to use in a trick. But this is a double backer you could use in a trick because most people who know Theory 11 could actually get fooled with this one because they're not used to double backers like that. Then they have your Saturday Night Live um, ad card, which is a really nice blue. I really like that blue. I'm not a big fan of this tan color as much, but I really like this blue. That's a cool Saturday Night Live ad card. Most ad cards really just stink. And then you have your Ace of Spades. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of things about the deck and how it performs. So spring-wise, it does spring really well. Honestly, just really smooth. Same for dribbling. Now I'm not, I'm a big fan of the stock of Theory 11. It's a little on the thin side for me, but if you're a Theory 11 stock person, this goes right along with the rest of their decks. I'm still not a big fan of the way they fan that way. But this way looks honestly really good. Um, here's the spring from this side. It still looks really good. They spread, they actually spread really nicely. Spread really nicely. All right, Pharaoh from bottom to top works beautifully. And let's see from top to bottom. Actually, top to bottom worked even better than bottom to top. Theory 11 cards, honestly. Although I don't, like, sponsor them or anything, and they don't sponsor me. Of course, I wouldn't sponsor them. I'll, like, 200, not even 200 subscribers, but... Like, like, this giant fan just doesn't... It just... They have really exquisite back designs that aren't ever great for fanning. That's just how Theory 11 works. Because you can't really get a nice fan because there's nothing different, no diagonal lines... Everything's horizontal and vertical on this deck, which is kind of sad for me from a cardistry standpoint. Um, but honestly, Theory 11 is one of my favorite places to go to. And if you guys need a great place to buy some Theory 11 cards for a little bit cheaper, um, still great quality cards and other great quality cards, I will have a great link in the description for where I get a lot of mine. Yeah, so that's really all I can say. All in all, I absolutely love this deck. Big time Theory 11 fan. Don't forget to check out the link in the description to see if you want to buy some cards from that awesome website where I get all of my cards from. Because honestly, this deck is one you should pick up in the link in the description. It should be down there. And honestly, those cards are really cheap. And when you buy something from there, I should get a little bit of a profit. So make sure to help me out if you guys want to support me. Instead of just like sending me money, which I wouldn't be that, I wouldn't be that sad about. Um, you can guys go ahead and get some cards also at the same time while supporting me. Now, I did do a deck review of the Vin Cardistry playing cards a little while back, and I did it in a kind of different setting, in a different way. So, the, which way, if you had to choose, would you choose? Would you choose the Vin Cardistry playing cards, or would you try these cards? Not the cards, but which type of re review would you like to see more? Make sure to let me know 
down in the comments which one you want to see more of, so when I do future reviews, I can know how to help you guys out the most. Thank you guys for watching. This is Guard Perfect, signing off.